All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network and this is gonna be a fresh unboxing of two brand new servos from Futaba. Now these were originally announced at the Dirt Nitro Challenge and these were basically uh, a suggested nitro vehicle servo system. So basically you have two different servos right here. One would be intended for the actual throttle. One was intended for the steering servo, but that doesn't mean that you couldn't use them just in any electric vehicle or whatever meets your purpose as far as speed and torque. So I'm going to get these things out of the box and I'll be right back. All right, so everything's been unboxed and we are going to take a look at these servos, go over the specs, see what you get inside the box. Now with each one of these servos, you get pretty much the same items. You get a Futaba limited warranty pamphlet right here. You also get a full instruction pamphlet, hopefully in the language of your choice. Although this one doesn't look very good for me until I open it all the way up. So, um, but pretty much the same items. Now you do get a parts bag that includes um, one kind of three-sided horn. You get a couple of rubber bumpers, some grommets, and then the Phillips uh, screw that goes into the horn. So uh, pretty much you're set up from day one with this item here. So both servos come with that. Now, as far as the specs of these servos, they are identical with the exception of the appearance and the weight of the overall servo. So really quick, let's take a look at the um, 9373 SV. Uh, this thing is um, pretty well specced and we're gonna go over the 7.4 volt spec. So 0 0.06 seconds, holy crap, that's fast. And then as far as torque, this one's putting out 341 ounce inches of torque. This is pretty much a standard sized one tenth scale servo. So pretty much all the specs are in line with that. Now, just for reference, this one has all of the same specs. This is the 9372. So we're still looking at 0 0.06, 341 ounce inches. Everything else is the same. Now this one weighs in at 70 grams. The aluminum version weighs in at 76 grams. So quickly, let's take a look at the 72. This thing is uh, pretty much a plastic topped servo. So um, you do have the aluminum shroud that goes around just to help dissipate heat. Uh, this is a full S bus high voltage system servo. Uh, it has the HV and the S bus two logos on there. So super nice, 9372. Awesome. Now going over to the 737, or I'm sorry, 9373. This is the creme de la creme right here. This thing has the full aluminum top on there. So not only is the aluminum top pretty much aluminum, but you also get aluminum ears on here too. So if you're rocking a, uh, you know, SEX 10, or if you want to throw this in a Wraith and not worry about the front tabs breaking off, this is the ticket here. So, so aluminum top, aluminum ears, aluminum uh, going across um, to dissipate heat, the case of it, and then also an aluminum bottom. So we did not see that in that 9372. So super, super nice. Um, you know, just overall, once again, S bus two high voltage system, all the same specs, but the choice is yours. There we go. Well, guys, if you have any questions about these servos, feel free to post those questions on down below. Check out my video description. I'll have links to these servos straight over to tower hobbies where I picked them up and that's it for now, guys over and out.